In this le lecture, we are going to look at uh, signal conditioning for resistive sensors. So we've already looked at what a resistive sensor is. Uh, if a sensor takes a physical quantity as an input and gives an output as an input output, it actually changes its own resistance. That's a resistive sensor. And what we are looking at is what kind of signal conditioning is required so that this change in resistance can be used by an electronic circuit. In general, what we want is, in addition to the things that we said signal conditioning needs to do, what the signal conditioning circuit needs to do is it needs to convert the change in resistance into a change in voltage. Now at this moment, maybe um, you could pause and think about what is a way in which you can convert a change in resistance to a voltage. Do you know any circuit that does that? So we'll take a look at uh, some such circuits. But before that, let's look at the plan for the day. Here's what we want to do. We want to look at voltage dividers, which um, I think I've given out the answer, which is one of the ways in which you can convert a resistance into a voltage. We're going to look at amplifiers for voltage dividers. And then we are going to look at voltage dividers for strain gauges. And then we are going to look at Wheatstone Bridge and a few things um, uh, associated with the use of Wheatstone Bridges.